This is breaking news. Mayor Adams is making an education announcement at the City College of New York. Let's go to it now. Good everyone. It is fantastic to see all of you. Welcome to City College. I'd first like to thank President Vincent Boudreau for hosting us today in this amazing location. And it's, it's going to be a very exciting day given what we're about to share with all of you. My name is Maria Torres Springer. I'm the Deputy Mayor for Economic and Workforce Development. And I have to say, nothing makes me more excited than to speak with young people and see um, not just how they are having fun, but really the types of ways we can connect young people to our growing economy, to jobs, to prosperity, because that is what we are all about um, in this administration. I really do want to thank all of you for joining us here today. We have such amazing partners and guests here. Leadership, of course, from CUNY and from City College, industry leaders in the game development space, um, of course, our amazing students who are here with us today. Thank you for joining us in today's announcement about the city's investment in the digital game sector. Um, you will hear from many of our partners here today, but I want to make sure that I give a particular shout out to Stan Altman of the Hall Harlem Gallery of Science for all of his incredible work and inspiration and all of his efforts. So earlier in the spring, the mayor announced and revealed our blueprint for our economic recovery. And that blueprint outlined many different strategies for the future of our economy. It's been really important to us that our economic recovery is rooted in equity and economic mobility. And we know that we have to look to the future to solve the problems and challenges of today. That is why we are so committed to supporting the digital games industry, which plays a major and growing role in our city's economy. It supports close to 8,000 jobs, close to 800 million in wages, and 2 billion in economic output. Those are big numbers, but what's more important than that is the potential to really change lives across our city because we know that investing in different sectors are, of our economy isn't just about investing in companies. It's really about investing in our young people. It's investing in New Yorkers who really have an opportunity to connect to those me meaningful and good paying jobs in our growing sectors. And so, to kick us off, I would like to introduce Matthew Diaz, a student right here at CUNY and the president of the CUNY eSports community. Matthew. Good afternoon, everybody. Just fix this mic here a second. As you all may have heard, my name is Matthew Lopez. I'm a graduating senior here at City College. Uh, I'm in the Colin Powell School, a political science major, and also the president of the eSports Club. <laughs> to say that I'm excited to be here is an understatement. This is something that I could have only dreamed of months ago, and yet here we are now. I'd like to thank the Gumbo Collective game developers for being here. If we can get a round of applause for them. Sarah Applebaum, and the Glow Up Games for providing the Made in New York Arcade, the wonderful arcade we have back there. We get a round of applause for them, yeah? And I'm also really honored and glad to attend City College, uh, a college that has not only helped me academically, but personally. I mean, to see them throw their support behind such an ambitious project is really just a sight to behold. These kinds of things we just, we wouldn't have made possible years and years ago. And yet here we are. I have a lot of this, my personal success, my professional development, my personal development, my academics. It's all thanks to games, in a large part. Mm. To say that it wasn't such a foundational aspect of why I am here today is an understatement, genuinely. From being able to make the wonderful friends that I have at the eSports Club, to being able to time manage in those tense situations when I'm playing competitively in the eSport of my choice, Video games in all aspects have shaped me into the kind of person that I am. And to be quite frank with you, it has led me here to where I am today in front of you. 
I am really honored and very happy to know that the mayor and the mayor's office has thrown their support behind this. This project has such great potential and its effects are far reaching and immediate. And I hope that you can all really recognize that and appreciate that in the same way that I, the members of the Esports Club and the mayor here has today. But without further ado, it is my great honor, my privilege and my pleasure to introduce the mayor of New York City, Eric Adams. Glad you're not running for office. <laughs> uh, you know, just a few moments that I spent in the back watching the game, something uh, came over me. I think it was the second game where you were caught up in the excitement. You know, we were watching the, uh, it was, uh, was a soccer ringing the bell. And you actually, you're caught up in the moment. You don't even realize how much you get caught in the game. And I used to see my son spend eight hours playing the game. Now I know why. Uh, but it was also another game I saw that taught critical thinking. Uh, this is like an unbelievable opportunity to use gaming. We think of gaming, all I thought about, I thought I was gonna walk in here and see Pac-Man, you know? And it's so much more. <laughs> it is, I mean, we can almost treat gaming to help people who are uh, dealing with dementia to remember things. Uh, gaming for people who want to learn financial literacy, how to buy a house, how to pay for college. Uh, gaming to deal with some of the hate crime we see in this city, you know, the anti-Asian violence, anti-Semitism, uh, attacks on LGBTQ community. They can be games that's developed to, to teach us how to enjoy our diversity. So this is a great moment. And then eSports. You know, those who never uh, played a sport physically, uh, you could almost master it in eSports. This is going to become a multi-billion dollar industry uh, that uh, you are going to be part of, part of. So the jocks of yesterday that, you know, were only good at sports, those days are over. Gaming is the great equalizer. Any and everyone could play in one way or the other and lean into those things that are important. So uh, Chancellor and the entire teams that's here, I'm really happy for this moment. We, th we thought of this, we talked about it. How do we not only become consumers, but developers? Everyone wants to sell a product to you. Now you're in a position of saying, we want you to buy my product, your product, is no longer someone designing something that you have to participate. And it's not reflective of who you are. Now you're able to create a game that is really reflective of what you think, what you see, and the universe that you're in. And so today, with CUNY uh, City College, uh, with the students, the CUNY leadership, and the gaming industry, we're, he we're here today, and I'm excited about this. Uh, and we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the visionary of, of the amazing Deputy Mayor of Economic and Workforce Development, Maria Torres Springer. We've been hanging out the whole week, you know, yeah. rolling out some good stuff. And she just knew this was the right thing to do, as well as the team from the Mayor's Office of Media and Entertainment, uh, just the right team to make our city the center of innovation of all levels. We want to be the center of innovation. You know, we've had a history of innovating from skyscrapers uh, to the subway system uh, to so many things happened right here in New York, from Bitcoin to blockchain. Uh, all of the things, they start here and they continue to grow here. If they don't start here, they grow here because we get it right all the time. And it's based on the diversity of the people that live in the city because they bring all of their energies and spirit to the innovation that's needed. And it's time for us to lead in this industry of digital gaming space. New York City is a leader in so many areas, tech, film, uh, finance, uh, so many different areas we lead us in, but not here yet. When it comes to gaming development, we are outside of the top five. We want to change that in the next few years. We want to be number one. How the heck do we follow anyone? We're in New York City. 
We don't follow people. We lead. And so the goal is to use CUNY to start the pipeline of ensuring that we're going to start building out our gaming industry. Uh, we know that we have the highest concentration of augmented and virtual reality gaming jobs in the nations. Highest number. And we have so much talent here every day, just some of the games that we were discussing uh, earlier. And so we want to make the city the hub. And two months ago, we launched uh, the blueprint for economic recovery coming out of the deputy mayor's office. And we spoke about building a future focused economy and how we must uh, stop and step into innovations in order to do so and create the entrepreneurs, the new thinkers, and come up with a real good product that everyone globally would like to duplicate or to purchase. Uh, any one of you in this room could become the creators of next Rockstar Games company or the developers of the next uh, Rocket League or NBA uh, 2K. I assume that's 2000. You know I didn't play any of those games, you know? <laughs> But you could clearly become the next head of that. So uh, today, we're going to really level up. We are investing in our future and the future of New York City gaming development with some big uh, announcements today that I'm really happy for. This is something we wanted to do. I'm proud to announce the funding and creation of City College Bachelor's Degree Program in Game Design, an actual degree. <laughs> and game design. We're investing $2 million into this program. I was a computer programmer as a young person. I know how powerful it is, the skills you take forever. And so these $2 million, we believe, is going to help reach over 1,000 students over the next three years, and is aimed at increasing diversity and equity in the digital gaming field. Far too often, you're not seeing the diversity in this field. We want to increase that diversity so those who play the game will look like the people who are also designing the games. That's the match that we are looking for. <laughs> this complements the work that so many in the industry are already doing, including uh, New York XL's a uh, recent announcement of their Young Creators Program providing fellowships uh, to the next generation of content developers. Wherever we go, wherever the deputy mayor and I go, if it's at Google, if it's at Netflix, wherever we go, we talk about paid internship programs and building a pipeline for those young people to fill those jobs. That is the goal here. If you don't get exposed, then you don't see the possibilities out there. And we're focused on telling all of these large companies that you patronize, it's time to hire from the communities that are actually purchasing your product. And we're on a mission to accomplish that. <laughs> and this is the part that I like a lot. We are going to uh, put in place the first ever Digital Games Industry Council. We are bringing together the top digital game uh, companies, nonprofits, and industry leaders, and young people to sit down and advise the city on how to grow this important industry right here in New York, as well as partner with educators to create pathways from classroom to careers and game designs. You can do this not only in college, you could do this in high school, you could do it in junior high school. You have in your heads already, as young people, the type of games, games that could be designed. We want to bring you to the table and clearly set the standard on how this industry must go, grow. Using public and private partnerships, we could obtain the level of gaming that we want. And so I want to finish with this. Uh, today, we are going to push forward. We begin this quest together. This is how we're going to get stuff done in the city and accomplish a fair and equitable city. We're not leaving anyone behind. This is a great city, but it's not great because of the tall buildings. It's not great because of the museums, the theaters, and all of that stuff. It's great because of the people. And too many people did not fail and reach their greatness and their full potential. We say no to that. Not only are you going to be successful gamers, but you're going to use the tools to hope, help those who have been left far behind in the past. Thank you. Amazing announcement. I'm happy to be here.
Thank you, Mayor Adams. Um, now I'd like to introduce someone who's been a fantastic partner and will continue to be. We could not do this without the partnership and of amazing institution. And there's a lot at stake here. The jobs in an industry like this really run the gamut from game development to all of the occupations within publishing to data science, to research, to marketing, to the financial services that need to be part of the ecosystem. And in my mind, there is no reason why CUNY can't be the number one pipeline to all of those jobs. And so with that, let me welcome our amazing chancellor, Felix Matos Rodriguez. Thank you, Maria, and the answer is yes. Okay. By all means, by all means. Uh, let me just, um, Matthew, you, you, your pants will be off? Second. Your pants will still be off? One. Go ahead. So, so Matthew, phone call to uh, mom or dad. Yeah, Polisai, what else are you doing? Oh, I'm the president of the E-Game Club. <laughs> Ay, mijo, why are you doing that? <laughs> you should be doing something worth your time. I just want you, when you get that diploma, you take a picture of you and the mayor <laughs> that you're introducing, and you say, you see what I was doing in college, right? Because that is a chance of success. So congratulations to, to you and to the mayor. And this is a great partnership. Uh, I want to give kudos to uh, our host, the president from City College, Vincent Boudreau, and the entire team here. Also, the leadership at Ostos Community College, uh, uh, President Daisy Coco de Filippis, who couldn't be here, who are the partners in the pipeline, right? Because this is, this is the, the beauty in the mayor's message is that he is encouraging all of us and saying, you need to start working with these students early he mentioned it, high school, right, back in K-12, pushing us to do more partnership with the great chancellor, Chancellor Banks in the DOE, right? So those pathways begin fairly early. You begin thinking about that. This is easy because the students are already engaged in this. You need to have them visualize, like you said, becoming producers, not just consumers, but they understand already the space. You don't have to tell them too many things so they can visualize why is it important and exciting. And then have them go to a community college like Costos, get their two-year degree, knowing that they're going to continue to a four-year degree. Have them with paid internships, with experience in all, this, in all these companies. That is music to our ears. As the deputy mayor is saying, there's so many other fields, right, that are perfect in our college environment to be able to add into the mix. Marketing, finance, uh, think about the video games need artists to be able to produce the beautiful animation. So the game is important, right? Uh, if you play those games, I don't, but I hear my kids in the basement do. Uh, the music is really important, right? So there's room also for the talent of our musicians to be part of the mix. The people who are doing producing musically to do that. So there's a whole gamut of, of industries, of talents that we know we have here at CUNY that can be tapping into this industry. Think about also then when they go and they join leagues, right? The sports management, the work that can be done in that area, right? So that we can become the number one hub in the country where those games are being played and those leagues are being played, right? And our teams are beating everybody else around the country, right? We want, we want those, that talent, those dollars, and we also want to showcase the diverse talent that uniquely CUNY can produce at scale, right? Because we want that to be reflected in all these games. We want it to be reflected in this kind of industry. So I applaud the mayor for the support that we have for this initiative. This is only the beginning at the City University of New York so that we can have many, many more Matthews walking down the aisle at commencement with so many degrees proud and going out there making good money, donating money back to CUNY, <laughs> right? That's important, right? So the mayor can give us less money, right? And everybody benefits in the city. So we want that entire ecosystem of an equitable economy to be here. And we are so happy to have a mayor that is supporting us to do that at work at CUNY and we'll do our part. And thank you so much for the support. <laughs> Thank you, Chancellor. You're going to be very busy, Matthew, in the years and decades to come. We're very excited to watch your continued success. Um, now I'd like to introduce Philip Courtney, who is the CEO of Urban Arts, to share a few words. Thank you. 
Um, so at Urban Arts, uh, we are committed to closing the widening opportunity gap. Um, we help underrepresented students harness uh, technology, explore their creativity in order to defy the odds, the odds that we're hearing about today, and uh, define their future. Five years ago, we created the School of Interactive Arts. A few graduates here today, Sarah, who showed her game, and yeah. Darcy, and Daquan, Sage. Uh, we created this program called the School of Interactive Arts because we saw a huge demand from our students. We work primarily, primarily in K-12 schools, the pipeline you're talking about. And so we created this, this program called uh, the School of Interactive Arts because there was a huge appetite for students to play games, but also, more importantly, as you said, as a consumer, to produce it, to make them. Uh, and um, we have graduated hundreds of students from that, that program. Many of them have gone to schools around the country and to top universities, private universities, but never has there been an option, a public option, for them to study this very important growing uh, subject in their backyard. And so this is, for me and for us, a historic day. I say we give the private universities a run for their money. Um, <laughs> So, big thanks to CCNY, Stan Altman, uh, Barry, uh, the, some, some, some of the architects who've been working on this for, for a couple of years now, and to uh, the mayor's office for this historic moment. Um, we're going to be strengthening the pipeline of our students. We're going to be serving uh, about 15 schools in, um, in Harlem and the South Bronx. We're also going to be growing our internship and mentorship program, which as we discussed, as we heard today, is very, very important. At the onset of the pandemic, uh, we noticed that our students were very isolated. We also heard from uh, some of our corporate partners, like Take Two, for example, the largest uh, game publisher in the world, um, that uh, their employees were also restless and wanting to give back. So we created a one-to-one -one mentorship program where they could connect virtually. Um, we have been trying to recover from that ever since because the demand from these corporations, the corporations that have money that want to invest, is huge. And the desire of these employees to give back is huge. And the impact is amazing. I just wanted to read you a couple of quotes. So one mentee, this is the student, said of this program, um, I learned how I can apply my, apply my skills to the work field and where my place could be in the video game industry. Mm. This is a two-way street, right? The mentor said... I gained a new friend, a renewed motivation to use my privilege and any privilege I have to help others. I would absolutely love this for our company to do more of this. I know that all of my co-workers want to pay the experience for it and ultimately create a more diverse workforce uh, in this industry. So it's a two-way street and I see a lot of, I'm very excited about what we're going to do in the mentoring and as you said, paid internships. It's not an internship unless it's paid. Um, so. Thank you all. Um, this is, this is a, a great moment for us, a moment for, for the city. Um, it's, it's, it's very important for the students that we serve to have a place at the table and to have a front row seat at the future of economy. And this initiative is going to do that. Thank you so much. Thank you, Philip. Really love what the brilliant work that you're doing. And it, it's, it's um, important that this work start really early. And the work in the K through 12 system is just so critical to building the diverse pipelines that will really make this, um, all our collective efforts as meaningful as possible. And so finally, I would like to introduce the CEO uh, of um, NYXL, James Fry, and welcome one of New York City's favorite teams and two time conference champions as well, and um, New York Excelsior. Thank you and welcome. <laughs> Hi, I'm James Fry, honored to be here today. I am the CEO of NYXL, which is New York City's premier esports and gaming entertainment company. And we very much believe in the deputy mayor and the mayor's mission to make New York City the gaming capital of the world. Um, we own the New York Subliners, the professional Call of Duty team, the New York Fury, the professional Valorant team, and the New York Excelsior, the professional Overwatch team. Um, our teams and our organization bring the diversity, attitude, and energy that exists in our great city to everything we do. One of the things we always say to people who are competitors from other cities, we tell them, whatever you've got, we've got it better. <laughs> and that's what we believe is the spirit of New York. 
Um, we are also putting our money where our mouth is and, and supporting their program very much by launching what is called the YXL program, the Young Creators Program, where we are going to give 10 New Yorkers um, $50,000 one-year internships. And we are going to continue that program for as long as we can. Applications are open uh, until May 26. Any of you students in here who want to be part of the org and make content or make games or do whatever you do, we are open for business and we want you to come join us. If you come down to our office, which is in the 49th floor of the World Trade Center, it looks like New York City by design. We love this city, we believe in this city, and we're going to make it the gaming capital of the world with the support of the deputy mayor and the mayor. Um, I want to next introduce the founder of the company and president of the company, Farzam Kamel, who has some things for our esteemed mayor, Mr. Adams. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Thank you. Uh, as James sort of alluded to, uh, we have here today the New York Excelsior, which is the first professional esports franchise that represents this great city. Uh, we take a lot of pride in that team. We're going to welcome them up here in a minute. Uh, for a special moment to meet the mayor and also introduce him as an honorary member of the team. Um, <laughs> before we do that, however, I just want to say to the community of Overwatch players here and the eSports club, thank you for doing what you do. Um, we notice it, we see it. Uh, there would be nothing that gives us more joy than in the future a member of this team coming from this region, and if not a player on the team, then candidates for all the roles that we very much intend to open up here in the market. It'd be awesome if it came from people who are actually local. Um, so we're, we're excited for this moment, and I want to thank everyone for, for inviting us here. And with that said, I want to invite the team up here uh, for, the, for the jersey handover. Uh, <laughs> 